much for this amazing honor. Thank you, Bob and Kathy Pitstock, for having your daughter Samantha follow her dream to dance. I was three years old when my mom helped me start dance classes with an amazing teacher who included me in her ballet, <laughs> tap, and dance classes and all of her typical students. <laughs> I love to her other size in the River Performing Visual Art Center because they help kids with disabilities and all people to dream out loud. Now, some of you may know me as Becky Jackson from the TV show Glee. <laughs> You notice I have Down syndrome, but you know, I just like you. I just a girl from California, <laughs> working hard to overcome my challenges in life, and making sure that I always try to live my dreams. From early on, I knew I wanted to be an actress, and guess what? I worked as an actress on a hit show. I make my own money, and I make good college. <laughs> and I have friends and amazing fans from around the world. And I, oh my God, I'm not happy a blast working <laughs> hard doing what I love. I'm on the way to living my dreams. So that people told me I would never be able to do it. So guess what? I only really pay attention to those who told me that I could do it. Sure. Programs like the River Performing Arts Center tell kids that they can reach your goals and live their dreams. Whatever those dreams may be, I feel so lucky that I have been able to live my dream of being an actress. It is so much fun getting to meet so many people, all, like all of you, who are so nice to me. But it really hasn't always been that way. Since, since, since I had Down syndrome, some kids were mean to me. And so me beat to me because I was different than they were. At school, I was bullied by some boys, pushed down, and made to eat sand. In the hallway, a group of boys walked behind me called me a retard. And even more, recently I was bullied on Facebook by a group of very mean people who posted pictures of people with disabilities with rude and purple comments on the pictures. The important people in my life told me that I couldn't let it keep me down. I had to brush myself off and keep focusing on my dreams. That's right now, I travel around the country telling people my story, <laughs> helping people learn about, learn more about setting up to bullies, and about how we can all have each other's back against all kinds of bullying. We need to realize that we all are different, but that's okay, because we are also a lot alike in many ways. Now, I know there are a lot of fans who watch Glee. I hope they watch the show and think I would be like Lauren. <laughs> to never, to never give up on her dreams. But here's the secret though. My fans are really my heroes because they are the ones who will be fight for big changes. They tell, they tell me in their letters and postings and tweets that they get it. 
They are learning in, in themselves. We all have differences. We can still be friends and work together to make this a better world. My family, friends, and fans, and all of you here inspire me to keep reaching and dreaming for more. I want to keep acting, and I hope there are more and more roles for me and other actors with disabilities. I, I know this could come true, and you are helping. Since Beyond Glee, I have had the chance to speak up for other people with dreams. Host, others who won't listen to people who say you can't do it, to help other people with and without disabilities. Find their voices and then encourage them to reach for their dreams. Wherever those dreams are, so remember, don't, don't ever listen to those who tell you that you can't. Surround yourself with people who tell you that no matter what challenges you face. And believe me, sometimes it seems like there are a lot of challenges. You can do it. And remember, keep to me out loud and never stop reaching for the stars. Thank you so much for all you are doing and having me here today. Thank you so much.